Allergies and pets, total drag, right? But what happens when shady companies try to convince your pet owners that they can diagnose pet allergies with a simple saliva test? Dr. Anthea Schick of Dermatology for Animals in Tempe, Arizona drops some knowledge. Roll tape. There's about three hair and saliva tests that are available. There's a Glacier Peak, Holistic, NutriScan, and also Immune IQ. A colleague of mine, Kim Coiner, came up with a thought of trying to validate some of their claims that they can give you all of these answers with food and environmental testing, and I wish it were true. Uh, but we, we ran a little test where we took 10 uh, actual hair and saliva samples from both normal and allergic dogs. Then we also took five fake samples of fake cat hair. So this was basically from one of my child's stuffed animals. So we snipped the hairs and we put that in the bag and then we took the Q-tip that was supposed to be soaked with saliva and ran it under tap water. So we submitted all of those samples under different names from different geographic locations to keep things blinded. And sure enough, all the samples, whether they were from real animals, allergic, non-allergic, or fake cat fur from a toy, uh, came back with multiple uh, allergies. A similar study was just done at Tufts with the NutriScan, uh, where they took uh, samples, not fake hair samples, but samples from dogs who are allergic, non-allergic, and the results are just all over the place. And so unfortunately, we can't trust these tests at all. I would say, save your money for things that really work. I'm Adrian Wagner, Content Marketing Director for DVM360.com, reporting live from CBC Virginia Beach. Find more resources at DVM360.com forward slash dermatology. Thanks for watching.